It is 8.30. My event starts at 9. Tracy Aikman's Killer Breakfast. It's really good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very tired. <laughs> By the time I got my video edited and exported and started uploading it, I think it was 2.30 a.m. And then I got up at 8. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a lot, but when you're cons when you're getting like four or five hours of sleep consistently, it really sucks. My friends are gonna save me a seat at Killer Breakfast and I have to go to customer service and get some tickets returned. Uh, mainly, I have to do it right now because the event would be back to back with this event and I really can't go. I, I, just, I just need some chill out time or nap time. I have a thing I wanna wear. So I just, I can't, <laughs> I can't. was good it's a tradition for us to go every year but it seems like maybe that was the last one that they are gonna do which is kind of sad but it's also maybe just time for them to move on and do something different right now back at the hotel I decided to cancel my next event um because it was just back to back with this one and I got no sleep last night really so I'm at my hotel I've ordered food it is on the way um, it's gonna be mac and cheese. I'm very excited. I'm gonna lay in my bed, watch terrible reality TV. Um, I'm gonna nap. I'm gonna shower. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of self care before I go back out there into the wild. <sighs> so excited for this. Also, I've discovered a giant bruise that I have no idea where it came from here. No idea. I just discovered it earlier.
awesome. Been great. How, yeah. how would you Yelp rate, <laughs> Yelp review the convention? <laughs> Yelp review. I don't even know how you Yelp review anything. Uh, four out of five stars. Four out of five? Well, four and a half. <laughs> what would have given it the other half star? More sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. How about you? Yeah. Four, yeah, I don't know. I really liked it. 4.9. Yeah, you can't give it 4.9. Why not? Four and a half or five. Why? That's how they rate them. It's just, it's just not so good. you would give it a five or four and a half and then in the comment clarify? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Clarify exactly how much. What's the point one? Oh, I don't know. Again, if I probably had more, if I had more than 24 hours in the day, I was going to say, awesome. if it was longer, <laughs> yeah, the day a little more chilled out. <laughs> How was your Gen Con experience? I had a great time. I think they did a great job dealing oh. with so many people. I think they did a great job dealing with so many people. Um, it's been a great experience. I think the only negative I had was the carpeting in the dealer room. Yeah. That's it? What's your Yelp review out of five? Um, five. Five out of five! Me too! Alright, let me talk to you guys about Spirit Island. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It is a cooperative game where you and your crew, crew are essentially playing spirits uh, that control this particular island and it's um, native creatures and uh, people from another world are coming in to invade and colonize and essentially you're trying to get rid of those people so that they will leave you and your spirits alone. It is super great. It is uh, more on the complex side. I would say it's probably about the same level as Ghost Stories. If you've played that before, it is cooperative. You're working together. I really loved it. I'm going to pick it up when I go back home. Um, it's very complex. Uh, there's a lot of things going on and you have to think like a move uh, or like a phase ahead. You're really dealing with things uh, in the present that are going to happen two turns ahead whilst dealing with things that are currently happening too so there's a lot going on but I really loved it and I really can't wait to play it at home so right now I am in Hall C uh, in, the event hall, in the event hall and my friends are over there you've met them before I will introduce you again later and we're just hanging out and gonna play a couple of games I hope they want to play Secrets which is a social deduction game that is super hot right now uh, we've got Unearth and Splendor plus the expansions and just lots of different games. We'll see what shakes out. I will let you guys uh, get introduced to those people shortly. What do you guys think of Space Team? I like it a lot. I love Space Team. What do you like about it? Uh, definitely uh, adds a lot of pressure. It's frantic. It's crazy. Frantic, uh, but God, how do I describe it? It's definitely you enjoy the feeling of cooperating. Yeah, it's got, yes. It's also got the right amount of comedy. Yes. Yeah. The Space I'm, Hamster? I'm always, Beat the Space Hamster. I'm space always hamster bit. a fan of the pixel art too. Love that kind of stuff. Re regret career choice. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Aiden. And I'm Jacob. Um, well, you know me from listening to my podcast, Nerd Pride Radio, uh, and visiting my website. That's so why I know those, because I listen to those guys. Yeah, and that's true. And these are my yeah. kids. <laughs> Two of them. And you have Nerd Pride Radio at nerdprideradio.com. It's, uh, it's about all things nerdy, gaming and... Uh, movies and comic books and whatever stupid stuff comes into my head. Can you tell me about your Gen Con experience so far? It's been pretty fun. I've had a great time. Yep. As you know, lots of games, lots of friends. We brought we brought a crew of eight this time and more is always better. Oh yeah. So we had an awesome time. What new things have you tried? I played Laser Riders for the first oh. time these past few days and Laser Riders is friggin' awesome. Yes, um, Laser Riders from Gator Greater than games, uh, Tony and Nicole of Cardboard Fortress put together, and it is spectacular. Oh, the ritual. ritual. Oh, a ritual. It's a, so hopefully good. there's going to be a Kickstarter soon, and if there is, I will be talking about it on my podcast too. I'll let you know. But Ritual is a, a vampire game, uh, or undead game. Yeah. And it was it was really spectacular, and we were lucky enough to get a playtest copy of it to take home with us. So, so yeah. cool little card game. Cool little plug for them. Uh, if you want to, like, look them up, they're... 
ritual game, but there's the the dot is before the me at the end. Right. We've just been having such a good time. I've been keeping yeah. track. I've got like I think we've played 20 different games so far. Yeah. And, it's and gonna be a, to it's it. gonna be a long pot. So, we've played yeah. a yeah. lot of really good ones in some. Mediocre. Yeah. A couple of mediocre ones. Can each of you give me your best and worst experience this Gen Con. Um, okay. <laughs> wow, kind of a big order there. Uh, my best experience so far has been playing actual, actually, Betrayal at House on the Hill with friends. We were, we stayed up late, way too late, and drank and played Betrayal, and it was phenomenal. We had a great game. But this is my second. I played at last Gen Con. But that was my best. Uh, you guys give your best. I'll think of my worst. Uh, my uh, best was I loved playing with the Ritual guys because I oh, loved yeah. seeing how passionate they were about it and how thrilled they were. Uh, how they did it was they were like, we want to see if our instructions work. And of course, that's a little off-putting at first. Like a blind course, play test? Yeah, exactly. And uh, as, as off-putting as it was to have to learn from the directions instead of having someone teach you, mm -hmm. it makes you realize how important that part of all they of just, it is. Yeah. And they have, for, I mean, they're just, just starting and just trying to build support, and uh, I was really impressed. I'm going to have to be with Jacob on this one. Ritual was probably my absolute favorite part of Gen Con. Yep. This is the passion behind it. I absolutely, like, know my worst. And it was just the... It, and it wasn't even horrible. Like, it wasn't... I, I have had no, like, extremely off-putting experiences this entire trip. Woo! But today was sort of small thing after small thing. It was... Uh, I, I even turned to my dad after we got some really, really shitty pizza yeah. along with uh, giant sodas with no lids, so it's all uh, awkward. We was it here down. in the convention center? Yeah. yeah. Was, Number it, one rule, don't <laughs> eat in the convention center. And, and we know. I, I looked at him and I was like, this is probably the most convention thing we've done. Yeah, it was. Yeah. we had a half hour before we had to get to our games. We grabbed a slice of pizza and it was terrible pizza and we had a our play test this morning was a little weak, and then the Pathfinder game we got to. Normally, Pathfinder is the highlight, and this time it just um, they we weren't got expecting. There and, yeah, yeah, they, they weren't were, ready for it. Yeah, I think a part just, of it was that it wasn't really Paizo behind it this time. Yeah, as it's been a, yeah, for the last couple that's of years. True. For it was a different organization. It just wasn't. I mean, we, a lot of us had a good time, but some of us uh, felt like they were trapped in a corner and didn't get to do anything the whole game. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it wasn't perfect. Okay. But, yeah. But man, even with those, I'm still, You're still good. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. We're back in the hotel room. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Okay. Today was pretty good. I took a really long nap in the middle of the day, which really helped. I highly recommend it. And I think the last thing you guys really saw was the Spirit Island demo game that we did, and it was super good. And then I met up with my friends, whom you saw in some of the clips just before. And um, Mike is a really good guy. I wish I could, like, nail down some more time to hang out with him. So I'm going to try and really push for that next year. It's going to be good. And we played a whole lot of Space Team. Space Team is an, uh, uh, well, it's a card game, but I really recommend the app. Um, it's just called Space Team. You should download it and play it with your friends. And it's kind of a really crazy real-time yelling at each other adrenaline game. It's really good. And you can play in like 5-10 minutes. It's really good. You should try it. Then we also played a round of Sonar, which is the like condensed, smaller player count version of Captain Sonar. And it was fine. Um, it takes away a lot of the complexity that Captain Sonar had which is exactly what they were trying to do, I presume. Um, this this one is two teams of two versus each other. And we ended up winning and destroying them. Um, we did find that you can, if you know where the other team is, eventually kind of just end up indefinitely chasing each other around the map until somebody just decides that they want to end the game by getting in the way of your torpedo. But it was really fun. Right now, we are doing a little bit of packing. Because tomorrow's Sunday and some of our stuff gets shipped out then. So we are trying to assemble some stuff. And I'm just going to edit this video now. It is currently 2 a.m. Great. Good job, Nelly.
it's late. Uh, good night.